hello, hello. Welcome to another wonderful Thursday evening. Good day to play a new Zelda game. It's a bit loud in my head. I'm gonna have to turn that down. I think I need to turn it down overall, actually. Turn the game down slightly. That should do. But yes. <clears throat> Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. A uh, Zelda game that I have not ever played. Because for the longest time I was uh, completely turned off of the DS Zelda games for being completely touchscreen controlled and I didn't think that that could work well for a Zelda game but figured it was about time that I actually give this and probably later uh, Spirit Tracks an actual fair shot so I've already made my starting file here because I was testing this to make sure it worked correctly so we have our usual sword guy. And we're gonna go ahead and start our adventure. Our story begins not long ago. There was a young girl Savvy to the seas and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Was she bold and brash? Tetra and her handsome pirates, that's okay, whatever, set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day, on a stop at an island, Petra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. We're just going to gloss over the entirety of the Wind Waker as strange events. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, a huge ominous king appeared. He carried Princess Zelda away. Listen to that oboe going crazy. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down the Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. Is, is that what he did? Making him sound like Kirby. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later, the two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. I was going to say, this reads like it was, uh... It was made by one of them. What did you think of my amazing paper cutout? Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, sword guy, are you sleeping, Swabby? 
Oh. Uh, sword guy. Sword guy! Yeah, no, seriously, Nico, please. You weren't even there for most of the game. Not messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on lookout. Oh, uh. Some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from the evil king? Princess Zelda, we're nearly at the spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Petro worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. This is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. It's all because of that scary ghost ship. G -g 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 ghosts? Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. Unlike you, who are some pirates up to some good. I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds. I remind them that there are rules to being pirates. I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyway. Burr? Hey, look! The air feels chilly, eerie even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Petra, I can see a ship. Yeah, ship, up ahead. Well, it's gotta be a ghost ship. It's got a skull on the front of it. Only ghost ships can have skulls on them. Yes, and the spooky fog. It's the ghost ship! These waters really are cursed. You call yourself a pirate. It's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. How come she gets to jump? We can't fit as many muscles into your body on the DS. There's not enough polygons. Sword guy. Save me. Sword guy. Save me. Yes, I got that. I got the message. I'm sword guy and you need me to save you. Yes, I get it. Oh no, it's a fairy. Oh, phew, you're awake. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. 
I'm Sela. Sela, Siela. One of those. You see, I'm a fairy. I was out fluttering around and found you here. What happened? What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say that those it takes are never seen again. Oh, well, I guess that's that then. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. My house is up there, off the beach. Come on. Oh, can you walk? Head to the direction you want to move with your stylus. Fucking teach me how to walk. Alright, let's go. Grandpa! Wait, pots. Eh. Eh. Ooh. It feels really weird to be playing this with a mouse. I suppose it'd be just as weird with a stylus. Ah, hello, traveler. So your name is Sword Guy. I am Oceus, and I live on this island. Ciela told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Sword Guy's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the sea in search of victims to capture. And no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. Uh, well, again, I guess that's that then. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? <laughs> Young people. These fucking Zoomers, right? There is a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. That's a dumb name. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map! The harbor is here. You mean that guy who came to visit Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I'll go with Sword Guy and show, show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Sword Guy. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Sword Guy. He's always been antsy, that one. Now, Sword Guy. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck. But you better... But you be careful out there. Alright, let's go. Oh, hey, your pots respawned. Eh. Ah, but not the contents. Okay. Alright. To the boat! What's that rumbling? Another earthquake. So many quakes lately. So many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. Yeah, like getting through a whole Zelda game with touch controls. Oh heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. 
so many quakes lately, and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to get to town, fortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Alright, yeah, let's just sit here. Someone will come by and fix the bridge soon, I'm sure. Yeah, let's just wait for the bridge. We'll be fine. Okay, I'm done waiting. Grandpa! Bridge doesn't work. So that earthquake broke the bridge, did it? Ah, unfortunate. There is another way to the port, but it's far too dangerous. No, wait for someone to rebuild the bridge. That's the only safe course. Don't even think about braving the path to the north. Got it. Take the path to the north. Hello? Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to speak with them. Anyway, I've just had a bit of bad luck with my garden here. That quake just heaved a bunch of rocks into the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up. Then tap where you want to throw it. Eh. 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 Yay, I found two dollars. Thanks a plenty. You really helped me out there. It's not much, but here's something for your trouble. Please, I insist. You're right. That's not much. What's with the dirty look? Think I'm a cheapskate? Fine, then here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree on that spot. Go bash it really hard. Over there? I'd recommend that you jot that down on your map before you forget it. To scribble on your map, tap menu, then tap map. Do map. Ah. So, he says right here is... Hit. Beautiful. Can I walk north, please? Is that going to be a problem, trying to walk near the edges of screens? Monsters, look out, sword guy. Way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. I mean, I could just, just walk around them. The hell are you? Nothing, apparently. Ah, there we go. I can walk around the the monsters. I can't walk around trees. All right, Grandpa. Tried to the the path to the north. Did you? Diela, don't pretend you forgot I told you to never go that way. We've seen so many quakes rattle the island lately, sword guy. And monsters have been closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port, it's true. But that path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friend. If only you found a sword, then you could show those monsters. I mean... Could a sword be in this one place you haven't directed me to go yet? Rock. 
Grandpa uses this cave as his storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. How to get this door open. I remember he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Vicky. All right. So I need to count the number of palm trees on the beach. Back to the beach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would appear seven is our lucky number. So we just come up here. Grandpa uses this cave as his storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. And how to get this door open. Yeah, writing number on the sign, number of palm trees on the beach, yes. Keep your hands off my things. Please ask first. Oshis. Yeah, well... Am I allowed to draw a fancy seven? All filled in and everything? Uh, I ran out of ink. Apparently not. Fine. Wait, what if I just make it smaller? There we go. That's a seven. Fine. Not allowed to express creativity. Yes, they should. It's also that. Jar, throw, jar, throw. Breaking all of Grandpa's things. Box. You got Oshis' sword. Tap an enemy or slide the stylus on the touch screen. You found a sword. Oh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Book. Using the sword. Basics number one. Use the stylus to swing your sword. Tapping and drawing lines quickly is the key to deft sword play. Less than optimal, but okay. Can I spin slash? Yeah. <laughs> he gets dizzy. Alright, so that's how they keep you from just spamming. Even though in other Zelda games, you'd be able to just spam the sword. Oh. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we just had to. We can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I just can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, sword guy. Hi, Grandpa. Sword guy! So, you have a sword, and you know that even the best swords can be bad, if mishandled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of sword play. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real. Just tap a target to lock on 
and close in for the attack. Try it now. Tap. Tapa, tapa, tapa. <laughs> Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. You find it hard to lock on the enemies, use the side slash instead. The sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. This move requires a little practice. Simply sketch to slash. It looks like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. And finally, we have the spin attack. Slide the stylus in a circle around yourself to spin attack, sword guy. Don't try out other moves. I, I, I wasn't... Can I hit both of these with one attack? No, apparently not. They spaced them out just enough. Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out among the monsters. But if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Okay, bye, Grandpa. The sword looks huge. All right, let's go. Onwards to adventure. Fuck you. And fuck you. Boy, I, I, I. Want to do a somersault? Dribble tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Roll into that big tree and see what shakes loose. Roll too much, however, and you'll get dizzy. I'm sorry. You said to... Okay, I guess it works. Ugh. Why would you keep that as a control in this? I sure hope that's not going to be required too often. The Mountain Passage. Hmm, you think this door might need a key? Yeah. You got a small key. Use this key to open locked doors. Touch a door to open it. You can only use it once. All right. Simple enough. Oh no. What is this? Tap a block to grab it, then tap the arrows that appear to move it. I got to do that every time, too. Oh, good golly. When pulling the levers, first, second from the left. Pulling four levers. Where might those be, I wonder? Did that say four levers? We write it on our map. That yeah, tap the map icon and scribble to your heart's content. So wait. Yeah, I didn't say anything about four levers. But first is second from the left. So if we're talking four levers, second from the left. 
should be this. Oh, ow. Pull the four levers in the correct order, or else. Oh, I was supposed to read that first. That's how we knew there, there were four levers. Oh, that's tedious. All right, box. Got a red rupee worth 20 rupees. When pulling the levers, second, first on the left, last second from the right so two four three there we go so it's one two Three, four. It drops a key. It couldn't just open the door. It has to drop the key that opens the door. I see. Rat has the key. Do I block the rat hole with the block? Aha! Congratulations, sword guy. You are officially smarter than a rat. Yeah. Well, at least I have plenty of money to start off with. to the port. So much farther to walk when the bridge is out. Now that we're here, let's look up Linebeck. I've met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. Okay, let's head to the port. Okay, but first... Wait, do I have access to this tree to hit? I don't think I do. Shouldn't we be looking for Linebeck? Okay, fine. Okay, Mom.
Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she, she were only mine. Belongs to a sea captain, what goes by the name of Linebeck. A fearless soul, I hear. He's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What, you're searching for Linebeck? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Linebeck has vanished to. Alright. Uh, bar? New customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drifted here to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment. But aren't you a tad short to be in here? Take no offense, sir. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. Looking for Linebeck? Sure, I know him. That chair there knew him recently. Linebeck just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our isle. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King. Listen up, youngin. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. And that temple up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid upon the place that sucks the souls from all who enter. Well, that's unfortunate. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so put that out of your minds. Can't say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there. Yes, steer clear, that's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? Right here on your map. You're not actually going there, are you? I mean... The Call of Adventure! Wait, I have to check. Can I play darts? I wanna play darts. Not allowed to play darts. All right, here we go. I talk to more people. Man, looking for the ghost ship, you say? Don't mean to take the wind out of your sails, but stay away from that ship. All those who become obsessed with that ship are soon ruined by it. That ship has pirated the life from many a soul, but some of us still remain. Oh, knock on wood. Okay. That's a maybe on talking to more people. <laughs> oh. Here we go. This, I think this is the tree to hit. How do I... There we go. Whoa! You got a big green rupee! It's worth 100 rupees! Can I hold that much? Jesus. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this obnoxious bullshit. Were those rocks supposed to have been in my way? I know a bomb wall when I see it. Aha, so this is the Temple of the Ocean King. Legend has it the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King. Really? The, the Temple of the Ocean King was built for the Ocean King? 
the temple has fallen into ruin, and people say it ruins any who enter. Still, we have to find Linebeck. Let's dive right in, sword guy. Yeah! Reckless abandon! Temple of the Ocean King. Whoa, look, sword guy. Looks like someone's skeleton. What is it doing here? You don't think this could be Linebeck? This is really starting to creep me out. I foolishly entered this temple. In moments, it drained the life right out of me. So even if you clear a trap, it resets once you leave. I should have made notes on my map. But I couldn't make notes on maps that have these icons. Alright. Thank you, tutorial skeleton. I entered the temple in search of the treasure, but monsters that could not be slain with a sword stalked the corridors. You should have brought a different weapon, then. Hello? Can't touch thing. <laughs> ah. Hey. Wait. You hear something, sword guy? Hey. Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Hey, there's someone over there, sword guy. You, kid. Over here, kid. I'm talking to you. You came at the right time. You're lucky you found me. Lucky for me, but luckier for you. Now help me. Oh, him? That's Linebeck. Hey, are you listening? I said help! What is he screaming about? For someone pleading to be saved, he sure is rude. What did you say? Oh, it's that chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to what I have to say. I know you're a kid and all, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here and I don't know what to do. Normally I'd free myself without any problem, but... Sprained my ankle and I can't move. Will you help? Uh, sure. I knew you'd come through for me, kid. Well then. You said something about these pointy spikes. Gotta be a way to disarm the trap somewhere around here. Fine, line Linebeck. Just wait there. Let's help him out, sword guy. Oh, hey, wait a second. There's something I forgot to tell you. The one thing you should know about this temple, it'll suck the life out of you. Why didn't you tell us that sooner? That's pretty important, you know. Let me finish. Don't go don't go running away yet. I know it's scary, but it's not like the temple will suck the life out of you all the time. I'm not sure, but as long as you stand on areas like this, you'll be okay. Show me that map. See all those purple spaces? They're probably safe zones. Are you listening? Did you get all that? E. Keep your strength up, kid. Don't be shy about breaking pots. Now get me out of here. Are you kidding me? That little boy did it. Okay, I'm taking that as my cue to get out of here. Freedom! Oh, break the pots. And go! I think we can take a quick breather. 
Hey, you said you sprained your ankle. You're walking just fine. You said you needed our help. Ah, it's not like you're the one who did the saving. Hey, kid. You're pretty brave for someone so short. I don't know what that has to do with... I mean, it's... I mean, not as brave as me, but not too shabby. So your name's Sword Guy, huh? That's a weird name. The name's Linebeck. I'm a real man of the sea. Impressive, huh? It was smooth sailing for me in the beginning. But then I got myself stuck in that trap. This place will suck the life out of you if you let it. Blasted temple. What are you doing at a place like this anyway? What do you want from me, kid? Oh, right. Red, 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 red. What? You're looking for the ghost ship. So you're trying to get your bits on the treasure. Treasure? What are you even talking about? Sword guy is trying to save his friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship. We came hoping you might know more about it. Oh, really? Boo-hoo, how sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm just teasing, kid. That's what this is about. I'm on board. Can you please stop shaking me? I'm here looking for info about the ghost ship, too. I was just a step away, but I sprained my ankle. Otherwise, I would have explored this cursed place. Liar, I just saw you running like a rabbit. No, no you didn't. That was just an illusion. My ankle's still throbbing. The pain is unbearable. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, the pain. Anyway, you want to know about the ghost ship. Go on without me, kid. Grab the clue about the ghost ship. It has to be in there. We need it to find the ship. Please stop shaking me. You're faking it. I think you're just scared. Not a chance. Normally, I'd be leading the charge down there. But I know how much it means to Sword Guy. I'm letting him have the glory of saving his friend. So anyway, here. Take this with you, kid. I found this key around here. It might help. Good. You know what you've got to do, so get to it. Oh, and good luck in there, kid. Yeah, where did you find that? Was that in a box or something? A key. I was not trying to slash my sword there. Ah, good. Fantastic. Wonderful. Yes. Good. Nice roll. I don't even know how you did that. box. Nothing is there. Oh, it's empty. I guess I guess the key that Lineback had was in it. Okay. Have some hearts, please. Sign on the door must mean something. <laughs> I'll bet. Everything means something. Okay. Um. What? I 
I guess I should just check the door in the middle. Got a small key. Do I have to open it again? Yes. Why is that where it's saved? That's weird. Oh, I can't click on this door for anything. What? Okay, that stops those spikes. What? Okay, what am I missing other than a brain? I mean, yes, the way forward, sure. Uh, guy. Yeah, he's, he's no help. So, what? The spikes ju aren't just always up when you get close. I see. I'm glad that was clear. We found a C chart. It must be an important clue to finding the ghost ship. You should show it to Linebeck. Oh, look at that old C chart. I wonder if that's the clue to the ghost ship Linebeck was talking about. Nah, it's probably completely unrelated. We can't just go... Okay. Why is it that I can only roll when I don't want to? Hey, where's Linebeck? Can you believe the nerve of that guy? Making us go in here by ourselves? Now that we've got the C chart, I've got some words for him. Oh, yeah, it's this scary fairy. Oh, ho, if it isn't the little monkey and his twinkly pal, slow getting the goods, eh? Slow, how dare you? You were quick enough to run off, injury and all. What an insult. I was merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain worth his salt puts his ship before his own safety, I tell you. But tell me, little monkey, what did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, a map. Let me add it. Bah, what's this? Some boring old sea map. Oh, now I see. It is, as we call it in the adventuring business, a treasure map. We probe its mysteries... We can find the very prize I'm seeking, the ghost ship. By we, I mean me. Farewell, little monkey. I'm off to find adventure. <laughs> Did he really just do that? He bustles in on our map and then runs off with it? What should we do next? Beat Linebeck at his ship sword guy? I mean, that would seem to be the most logical conclusion. I mean... He can't just weigh anchor on a ship that fast.
excuse me, pardon me, come through. Is this treasure teller opening soon? All right, this is some guy's house. Heard of the fortune teller Astrid? Nope, I've heard that Astrid lives on the Isle of Ember. The ghost ship, all who vanished, she saw it all in advance. It said, I bet she'd know what it'd take for me to find a girlfriend. Yeah. I don't see what those things have to do with each other, sir. What's in here? Welcome, shopper. How can I help you? What, we don't get beetle for the stores this time? Shield? 80 rupees. Red potion. Bombs. He has no idea what it is, but it costs 500 rupees. Dark pearl loop. No idea what that is. I'll take the shield. You got the wooden shield. Defend yourself from minor attacks just by holding it. I buy these without like a bomb bag or something and you can't sell this without me having a bottle right oh it only be used once okay so we're not doing bottles huh All right, then. Well, look who's gracing our presence. It's old man Oceus. The bridge has been fixed, so I thought I'd check up on the youngsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge alive from the temple, sir. Very courageous for one so early on in his years. You sent me into that treacherous temple too, you old barnacle. Any who enter the temple unprepared will find it a terrifying ordeal. And most would lose heart and flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently, there are true heroes among us. Read my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous, all right. Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You'd be sunk by now if our young friend here hadn't shown up. I was injured. On a typical day, I blazed through one or two such temples before breakfast. Calm yourself, Lineback, and tell me what you've made of the temple's map. I've inspected it fully. My trained eye finds that it holds no secrets at all. But wait, old man, what do you know of this map? Ho ho ho. Has the map's puzzle eluded you, Lineback? If I may see the map... A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? This is no standard map. You'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it. I trust you can solve the puzzle, sword guy. Um. I'm... Uh, hey. There's some sort of thing here. Hey, look at that. A secret mark on the map. That marks the spot of an isle born of volcanic strife. It is the Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astrid lives there. She sees far, sword guy. 
Actually, you should ask Astrid if she could see where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, eh? I always suspected there might be something there. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid. So we're off to the Isle of Ember, then. Yella, I'd like you to go with Sword Guy. You'll be essential to his efforts, I'm sure. And by seeing the outside world, you might just find your lost memories. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find them in a box somewhere. Will do. Always happy to help. Sorry that we have to pal around with Lineback, though. Still, I'm glad to sail the seas and see the world. But don't tell me I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff, too. Bah, fine, then. Okay, the Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail, sword guy? E. Then climb aboard. The open sea calls. It's off to the open sea with us, then. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. Oh, Beetle is here. Hold on. Beetle. And we're off. Oh, almost forgot. See the engine on, on the right? Tap stop to stop. To resume course, tap go. Well, let's see if you want to look around the sea. Touch the screen's edge. Stay alert up there. Touch up, down, left, and right to look at all directions. A blurry mass up ahead. It appears to be Beetle's ship. What you got, Beagle? Look at the Beetle's shop ship. I deal with anything and everything. Zora's scale, 60 rupees. Ship part, a tall chimney. Good thing. 500 rupees. Collect these and something good is bound to happen. Um, I guess I'll take the Zora scale? I can afford it. We got the Zora scale. This rare scale was dropped by a Zora. Yeah, that would be rare, considering that Zoras uh, don't exist anymore. I'm going to prep a member's card just for you. The more you buy, the more points you'll earn, and the happier you'll be. I pamper my customers. No other shop offers such rewards, you know. That brings your point total to one. Try to earn 20 points and earn a silver membership. All right. So it's going to follow the exact path, huh? We'll see about that. Oh. Hey, see that weird thing that just surfaced, Sword Guy? called the sea trap and we're headed right for it we can't attack it so we only have one option make the ship jump over it that sounds a bit crazy but okay tap the jump arrow at the screen's bottom to jump but only at the right time all right cool Golden frog in the middle of the ocean.
I probably shouldn't have done all those spins. Okay, hold on. Um. Oh. Shit. Okay, hold on. Wait. There we go. That'll be better. Slightly less obnoxious. It's not actually doing the spiral, it's just zigzagging. <laughs> okay, wait, maybe it is doing the spiral now. Uh, nope. It's definitely interpreted in some of those as zigzags. So, I can already tell the ocean's not nearly as big as Wind Waker's ocean. Like, not even remotely, but then again, this being a DS game, it couldn't be. This must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa was talking about. We're here. A sterling example of my helmsmanship. Impressed sword guy? What? You didn't even know where the island was. Who sketched our course on the sea chart? Yeah, sword guy did. What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, sword guy? Sure. There's a sensible lad. See? Sword guy gets it. As captain, I shall assign our little adventure monkey a task. Go find Astrid, sword guy. Meanwhile... I'll be waiting here, attending to the needs of my fine vessel. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? S -s -s scared? I'm never scared, you little fluttering shrimp. You two go ahead. I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. Alright, let's see some back breaking. You wanna... Come on. Let's, let's see some back breaking. I want to see it. What's this rock say? Isle of Ember. Fantastic. Hello? Is Empty House. Other Empty House? Someone left a, uh, a torch running. If you're reading my words, it means that I have fallen to fate. So look east and pick up the torch and take up my duty. Hey. Oh, mystery. I wonder what happened on this aisle, sword guy. Uh, probably nothing. What the? 
Summit Pass! Approval needed for entry. A freaking electrified gate. Okay. Tectites! Bonington, a fallen adventurer. Look, sword guy. Uh. Brute force will get you nowhere. Ah, it's a good, 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 good ghost. Get him, sword guy. Ah, wait. Give me some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad. But I swear, I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is Kao. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. What happened to you, you poor thing? You believe in fate that it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. A graver concern, though, is what ha happened to Astrid. It haunts me. Astrid, we came all we came to this island to find her. Do you know where she is? I hid her away. Astrid is inside her home, right here. But there's no way I can open the door, not in this condition. Would you please open the door for me? Sure. Of course we'll help. We'll open that door and let Astrid out. I'd really appreciate if you could do this. Now here's the secret to opening the door. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and you may be able to open the door. One torch is right here. Okay, we'll uh, mark it on the map. Torch. Please take care of Astrid. Okay, so there was also a torch in this house. Outrunning birds. What's up here? Oh, there's another torch. Hold on. Pardon me. That's three torches. open the summit gate you need what the fortune teller has to offer whether you believe in her fortunes however is up to you uh, gee thanks what a wonderful hint so far my objective has been find the fortune teller and this hint stone is like hey you should find the fortune teller Out of the way, buddy. Hello? Hello? Poor Chan Teller. Ah, shit. Rock the rocks. Hang on, sword guy. I feel a presence on the other side of this door. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay, call out something now. Loud and clear. What, you want me to use, like, the microphone or something? I think I have a button for that. Yeah, there we go. Who, who's there? Someone heard you. You did it, sword guy. 
Are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out here. K.O. asked us to open this door. So you might be the fortune teller Astrid? Indeed, I am Astrid. But yes, as a favor to K.O. To look at the map hanging beside the door, simply touch it. I don't know who you are, but would you open this? E. Thank you, and good luck, because this will be tricky. Will it be? Mark the locations of our island's three torches. It's right here, right here, and right here. You touched the right places. That was so tricky. You, you wouldn't believe how tricky that was. Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so you are no ordinary travelers. May I ask your name? I'm Sword Guy. Sword Guy? It evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Does it, though? Tell me, what brought you to our island? A ship! Sword Guy is looking for his friend who was taken by the ghost ship. Astrid, we were hoping you might have some insights. Not so. The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away, to escape its ruinous reach. Speaking of which, I haven't seen K.O. since then. Astrid, about that. Well, K.O., he's... I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. Well, life has little use for mourning, so K.O. thought. Shall I tell your fortune? Ye. Please wait for me upstairs. If any others are with you, please bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourselves, and I will join you after I make preparations. <sighs> Confound it. You'd think that someone who sees the future would be on time. Where is Astrid? Let's get our fortune sold and be done with it. Greetings. Now, if everyone is here, we can begin. <laughs> Open my eyes to the future, a sinister darkness, the mighty sea, and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. If you really want to find the ghost ship, sword guy, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that you still want to rescue Tetra? Ye. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. I'll make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it with you to alter our doomed course of events, sword guy. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of Darkness, eh? Hey, kid. I, uh, just remembered. I have to go polish the, uh, ship's rudder. Later, kid. Well, I mean, you can't... You can't weigh anchor without a polished rudder. That's just... That's common sense. Oh, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. Alright. So, I suppose I can go ahead and... Get rid of that. Can I get some hearts? Please. This isn't hero mode. I, I need hearts. Okay, we can reach the Temple of Fire at the peak through here. Come on, tap on the door to open it. Yes, I know, tapping on doors. Oi, tech type. No, not money. I need hearts. Look, the volcano is erupting. Watch out for falling rocks. Oh boy, something to dodge amidst all this other shit. 
Don't make me use a potion already. Must be the temple, but the entrance is sealed. Ooh, a heart. Box. You got a red rupee. It's worth twenty rupees. All right. What does the rock say? You can't read it from here. Well, fantastic. Blow out the flames to illuminate the path ahead. Oh. We just gotta do more microphone shenanigans. Got it. Heart. There we go. Oh. No! What, what happened? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I accidentally tapped a, uh, a different button. Uh-oh. My button that makes microphone noises is not working. Alright. Hold on. I'm going to have to see uh, what I can do about this. Give me one moment, folks. All right, one moment. I may need to uh, fiddle with something here. So, one second.
Okay. It's janky, but it works. I just have to hold down my button that makes microphone noises and randomly click on the candle until it decides to work. It worked for one of them. I just need it to work for this one too. Emulation, folks. No. And here's the fun part. Is the only other solution to this is to load it into a... It would be to take my save file, load it into a completely different emulator... One that actually has support for using specific sounds for microphone. Load up a wave file of someone blowing into the microphone and have it play during during this. So this should eventually work because the first one did. I just need it to do so. And there may be another part later in the game that apparently that I might be screwed on and have to use that method. But I blew out one of them. I have proof right there. There we go. <laughs> now we can enter the temple. We did it, sword guy. Let's go face up to that power of darkness. God, I hope I don't have to do that within the temple. The Temple of Fire. Ugh, so hot. Oh no, there are flames everywhere. You better not touch them. Don't go and burn yourself, sword guy. I'll, I'll try not to. Oh god, we got a Mario fire bar here. Alright. Whoop! Well, that's a gap. I'm no good at crossing gaps. We saw that before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. He is okay at going across gaps. What's this? Don't make haste, make notes of the one safe path. All right. So the safe path is there. They really went all in with the touch screen thing, didn't they? Huh. I wonder what me what that means. But let's make. Note of it. Go ahead, copy that path by writing it on your map. I already did. Yeah, this is definitely one of those we need to make a game that utilizes all of the hardware gimmicks. So the fact that it needs microphone as well is a bit unfortunate, but it apparently doesn't need it very much. The money, give me the money. Got a small key. Let's go. Yep. 
All right, and then we shall go ahead and take our only safe path. Oh, well, if you're just going to make it obvious as I walk through anyway. Then what dare say was the point? Oh boy. Let's go. Why didn't you make the jump? This music's getting to me because, like, it sounds a lot like the cave music from uh, Link to the Past. doing the whole block switch thing. going to get annoying. Boomerang! This item follows the path you draw on the screen. A boomerang. Know how to throw it? First, tap the item icon to equip the boomerang. Sorry, I just had to sneeze real quick there. Then just draw a line and it will follow... That flight path, straight or curvy. Give it a try. Throw it around this room and get the hang of it. Yeah, that's fast. Okay, so items are just going to sit up there in the corner? Or do I still need to switch them out with like... Uh, with like this. That looks like that's going to be the case. Alright, hold on. All right, so cool. I have to just sit there and let the fire hit me as I boomerang. What obvious thing are you going to tell me? There are no treasure chests on this floor. Okay. Thank you for the help. I appreciate it. God, I appreciate that help. Ah, I see. I get it. Oh yeah, combat with this thing is so fluid. <laughs> okay, that shuts that fire off. Oh. 
Yep. Let's go. The number of treasure chests left here is one. It'll cost you 20 rupees to... No. Why would I... Spend 20 rupees to see where the treasure chest is. Why would I ever do that? Can I boomerang the switch? Nah. And he wanted to charge me 20 rupees <laughs> for a treasure chest that had 20 rupees in it. That was literally right in my way. What an absolute ripoff. Go back. All right. Go straight into the fire sword guy. I said, don't. I have got you, small key. head back to where we just were very good sword guy more candles to blow out. Alright, hold on. There we go. Well, those ones were a lot easier. Ah, I see. Boomerang! Go! Oh. Okay, we're not ready for this yet. I have to hit them in the right order. So we're going to find a note somewhere or something. Like right here. So it's one, two, Yes, I, I understand. I get it. I get the point. Ah. 
Can I please not have to fight these in the middle of a fire bar? Like... Okay. Back here. One. Two. Three. Four. Why did it come back to me? I know it's a boomerang, but it's supposed to go around me to hit these targets. Oh, because it hit the wall. Why does it got to be that finicky? Got the small key. Let's go. Open the door. You also just going to try to scam me out of some money? You sure are. I just stop hitting those rocks. Oh, what's this? It looks so ominous. Uh, that dear fairy is a boss door. Get him! Good job. That seems to be the best way to uh, hit moving targets with the uh, boomerang is just do a big old scribble in the general area that they are. Right through him. A little finicky. three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. Can I throw a boomerang to light torches? I can. Well, it's a shame my boomerang's on fire. Can I jump this? No. So then there must be something to hit on the other side of it. Bus key? Bus key! It's a huge heavy key. Tap close to yourself to set it down and tap far away to throw it. What is this? What kind of bullshit is this? to actually carry the boss key. Alright. Here we go. Temple protects the spirit of power. Beth. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Alright.
I can feel an evil presence lingering at the top of these stairs. Be careful, okay, sword guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Careful is my, uh, middle something. Blaz, master of fire. Gross. Uh, boomerang? Uh, I have to actually have them touch. Uh, I clicked the boomerang. Slash, 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 slash. I could dodge rocks. Okay, so what? I have to do it like twice? Is that what it is? Or does it just sometimes not work? How did that not get them at all? What? Huh? I'm confused. They stuck together once, and now they aren't doing it again. What? Give me some hearts here. Hi. I don't get it. What am I missing? I got it to work once. And it worked that time. What was the fucking difference? No, seriously, what? Oh, I did. Do I just have to do it a few times? 
What? I don't get it. I beat him, but I don't understand how his mechanic works. Like, it, it seems fairly obvious. Like, it's just you boomerang them together, and then they should form together, but it didn't always do that. In fact, it most of the time didn't. Like, was there some difference in their appearance and I was supposed to do them in a certain order that I just wasn't seeing? I mean, it doesn't matter anymore as long as I don't have to refight him. But this is a Wind Waker sequel, so I'm not... I'm not counting out the idea that I might have to fight him again. Ah, it's another fairy. I am Leaf, Spirit of Power. I serve the Ocean King. I owe you thanks for defeating that evil wizard. You broke the seal, so now I'm free. Look, sword guy. It's the spirit of power. Leave. Yeah, that's... That's what... I, I heard him. This must be what Astrid was talking about. Please help us. We need your strength. I was locked away with the Ocean King years ago, but now I can't feel the Ocean King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. If I come with you, maybe I can find out. If you need it, I will gladly lend a hand. The Spirit of Power Leaf has joined your group. You should go tell Astrid. I, I, I guess. Am I going to get a heart container? Yeah, you got a heart container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. The volcano has stopped erupting, sword guy. I'll bet it's because you defeated all the monsters, sword guy. Come on, let's tell Astrid, sword guy. So I just felt like it should be there because, you know, she said my name every other sentence. Excuse me, Tektite. Pardon me, coming through. Why did that even close again? <laughs> all right. Hey kid, so you were able to defeat all the monsters? Well, Astrid is waiting. Well done. You defeated the power of darkness, sword guy. Unless you've broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit, you need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need three spirits. Power, wisdom, and courage. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at present. I see. Another clue for you to find in the temple... Of the Ocean King on Merkay. And to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. You got a power gem. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Store it on the collection screen for now. It's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that somewhere on the seas, you can raise a spirit's power for 10 gems. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. You actually did it. Now we're even closer to getting rich, sword guy. Ooh-ha! I'm excited. 
Look, he's so self-centered. Well, I sense that man will prove to be an asset and not an anchor in time. Hope you're right. Okay, let's quickly set sail back to Merkay Island, sword guy. You know, it's just occurring to me that this is the first time they've actually told us the name of the island we uh, started on. What's taking so long? I was about to leave you here, sword guy. What, Linebeck? What are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you suspect that the light that needs finding is really a shiny treasure? I really don't think so. Anyway, let's head back to Merkay Island. E. Oh, haven't forgotten anything, have you? Okay, let's be off. Alrighty. So let's just head straight there, I guess. I suppose we could stop and see what this island's all about. Why is this music so loud compared to everything else? Another golden frog. Wonder what the hell that is. Totally worth putting that spin in the uh, in the course. Okay, Island. So we head back to the temple. Temple of the Ocean King. Hey, wait, wait. If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Hey, you know, uh, I mean, if you say you want to go it alone, then who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to put all the work on Sword Guy again? If you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, kid. The temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. Not exactly true. What? Oh, shit. Hey! Big Ham! Thank you for the raid! How is it going? How's it going? I was uh, watching your stream before I started. Ah, yes. Thank you for doing the shout out, Seishun. Yes, hello. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, for uh, those of you who may not have been here before, hello. 
I am Veithite, the bear wizard, the wizard bear. I play video games on the internet and uh, occasionally play them through janky emulators that require me to nudge things while holding down a controller button because I can't actually blow through a microphone I don't have. <laughs> so, playing uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass... And yeah, it, it <laughs> yeah, it wants to use all the DS features, and boy howdy can the emulator barely handle it. <laughs> uh Toge Nebula, thank you for the follow. But yeah, we just finished the uh the first actual dungeon of the game. So we have to come back here to the uh this temple place but so far it's been um interesting kind of janky um but still pretty fun oh and i guess i should also mention since this is only the second time i've uh, streamed with it i do have uh, i i was a png tuber up until a few days ago uh ribians Thankfully, uh, uh, rigged this up for me based off of, uh, my drawings on my reference sheet. So it was, uh, through a raffle that he did. So once again, big thanks to, uh, big thanks to, uh, Ribians for this. It, it it's fantastic. I think I still have to tweak a few settings to make it like just right. And I'm still learning how to use VTube Studio properly, but like for like for what I do, like this this is perfect. This is great. I love it. Thank you, Ribians. The good old Ribbler really uh came through. Like I was I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was thinking at first that he would like draw a thing, but then when he came to me after I gave him my references, he was like, he basically was like, you know, it might actually be better to just use like your drawings and rig off of that. And so like, it's actually like exactly what I would have wanted in a rig was just something I drew, but moving. <laughs> And the best part is, is that since it's uh, based off of my drawings, I can use uh, my old props like this uh, rubber sword here. And uh, I can just import those straight away and there's no clashing of style or anything. Not that that was going to stop me. I was still going to... Uh... <laughs> I was still going to draw stupid props to staple onto myself regardless. But anyway... Uh gonna keep going here for a bit so grandpa i'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power you are strong even if you follow the ghost ship you will be fine sword guy get up on that altar yes sword guy get up on the altar come on Could it be? Is this the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass? Now, sword guy, take the hourglass! Is that much spinning really needed, Sword Guy? Oh my god. You got the you got the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. Yes, trademark. 
You now hold the legendary Phantom Hourglass, Sword Guy. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain the life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, we can search for clues for the spirit. <laughs> However, you are only safe as long as sand remains in the top of the Phantom Hourglass. When all the sand has drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. It's an hourglass. Can't you just flip it over again? No. Once the sand of hours has drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Ah, I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the sand of hours. I figured that since you just called it that, but thank you for the clarification. The beast you defeated in the Temple of Fire held some grains of it. It is said to be made of force gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. What if you set it on the side? Well, then... I don't know, Atticus. God gets angry. I don't know. <laughs> From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect their sand of hours. Should it be sands of hours, or... I don't know. For, mo for the more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in this temple showed where to find the captured spirit. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits... Hmm. I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in this temple. I just know it. I won't stop you, sword guy. Dive deeper into this mystery... But keep the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass in hand. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred light was fading? We've got to hurry, sword guy. How do you know so much, old man? Hmm. That long story is not yet ready to surface, but all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right, a mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, sword guy. Put some steam in your engines and get exploring this temple, kid. So, like, I'm calling it right now that the old man is the Ocean King. Ten minutes. There. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, we have to explain every little thing. Sword Guy, look at the upper left corner of the top screen. This is how long the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass will protect you from the curse. Find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out, then escape. That's it. Without the sand, it will start to suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye on the time you've got left. This is the door of power. Use my strength to open it. Tap the door and blah, blah, blah. All right. Down we go. I have no idea what that noise was, but... All right. Oh, of course, it's going to explain something. The Alright, armor dudes. Hey, it's an enemy. You know what to do. Wait, sword guy. The evil that cursed this temple made these monsters. Phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable, and they strike very hard. Does that mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. Well, all you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. This is where the phantoms are. The phone shows where they are looking. So we have to sneak around like thieves, eh? What if we're seen? If they see you, run straight for a safe zone. I s yes, we know what safe zones are. Yes, purple tiles. Curse. I get it. Yes! Yes! Can I play the video game? 
<laughs> Good job. Lighting the torches should open the way. But how am I supposed to light two of them? Hey, buddy. Can I... Oh. Okay, yeah. Safe zone. Cool. I can't make the boomerang go very far. Okay, it doesn't catch the fire anyway. Oh no, once I pass the written exam, there's an exam, no one told me this. Actually, I wouldn't put it past Nintendo to do something like that. Nope, I'm not here. See, I'm purple. Okay, well, what about up here? Need a key. Oh. Oh. But it's under a time limit. Got it. Running, 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 Get my boomerang out. There. Of course, lighting the fires puts the fires out. It makes, if anything, it makes too much sense. Later. Nope. Oh, you got nothing. I'm purple. <laughs> Break a red pot to spill its magical contents on the floor. Stand in the puddle to conceal yourself. Okay. But, like, the guys are all the way over there. And then I just run in here. Who needs red pots? Fish. Fish, I say. Basement two. Electric boogaloo. Yes, I I understood. have you to say, dead guy? Phantoms hear when a switch is hit. Hit switches quietly or lure them away with sound. Ah, so like... If I do... Down sure as hell ain't working. Here, how about we just loop him? Pull the lever. <clears throat> and then run. Uh 
Aha. Alright, well, fuck that up. Ow. Okay, that does hurt a lot. And ate some time, too. Alright. Uh-huh. Boomerang. Say you dead man? I should have watched the paths that, that the phantoms walked more carefully. They're patrolling the same areas again and again. All right. God, how much more of this is there? The clue to the ghost ship rests on this floor, just a little further. Huh. Neat. Offer up the force gems on the sacred pedestals. Well, I don't have those. Please let me walk. No? Well, sword guy died, everyone. That was that was the end of his adventure. Are you mm, I have to do the whole thing again. I have to do the entire thing again, you say, game. That's... That's, uh... Hmm. That's less than fantastic. I, I legitimately have to do the whole thing again. Like, even open the doors that I already opened. That's... Ooh. All right, fine. Uh, I just have to remember how to do it is all. We hit the orb. Lights the fire. Has a time limit. I can thankfully do that well in the safe zone. Alright, fine. You sure I can't just stab him in that eye on the back of his armor? Sure can't. Guy, yeah, come on. Oh my god. Ah! 
guys believe this. Push button. Am I... Am I gonna have to redo all these puzzles every time I come in here, too? Because I know they made mention of something about the traps in here resetting. If so, then that's fantastic game design to make us redo puzzles over and over again. falls there we run out of his range use the boomerang to hit the thing keep going you gonna turn this way Hi, guy. Yes, got the small key. Very good. Yes, I know. You told me last time. Let me go. Let's say you dead man. Phantoms sometimes carry keys, but what could I have done to take one? Ah, I see. They're both, uh, zooming in on my location. Ba -da -da. Ah, boy. Okay, that's still open. They really take advantage of the fact that you can't really maneuver very well with these controls. Who knew that the contents of yellow pots restore time in the hourglass? If only I had the hourglass, maybe things would have been different. It just drops a 30. You found a force gem. Take it away quietly. You got a triangle. wonder what you're supposed to do with it. That's a force gem stolen from the Ocean King by the hands of evil. You'll need the power of force gems to open a door and delve deeper. What are you supposed to do with this force gem? Probably put it in the slot that I saw earlier? My god. There's all force gems here and the door will open. Yes. Yes, I move slower when carrying... Yes, it's like the boss keys. This is a great game mechanic for someone as impatient as I am. Because I am nothing if not impatient. Alright.
And I gotta find three of them, huh? That's another one. Yep. Well, I've been finding them at good patterns in their uh, patrols. I just scoot right by. All right. One more. Is it up on this platform that I opened up by chance? Oh! Oh, I see. Oh. That gives me a key. door was over here. Eh? Hey! Last one. Let's go. Pick it up, sword guy. We have no time for dillying when dallying. Wait, there's no fog in this room. Look! The hourglass has stopped, and your life force isn't being drained. This place isn't cursed yet. I think we can finally relax. We can never relax. Not so long as evil still exists in the world. We got the Northwestern Sea Chart. Now you can explore a new area of the sea. We got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas of the sea? Let's show Linebeck. Oh, and it's just going to give me a quick way out, too, huh? Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Will I be able to take it back, too? That'd be nice. No, of course not. Of course not. Ah. Oh, and of course, he wasn't even waiting outside for me at all. He just went all the way back to his frickin' boat. Stop swinging the sword when I don't want... Yes? Does that ship of yours have a cannon? Not as far as I know. It makes sea life easier, or at least louder. Hmm. That's about all I know. I heard you can get them from a guy named Edo on an island to the south. Thanks. A weird thing to stop a kid to talk about. Hey, you actually made it back. Find the sea chart? Linebeck, you're lucky to have us around doing all the hard work. Yes, we found the new sea chart. Hey, let me see that. It's the chart we need to sail into the sea that's up north. But we still don't know the location of the ghost ship. Well, blow me down to the ground. The chart's so dusty, I can't read it. Make yourself useful and clean it up, will you, sword guy? Oh, boy. Is this going to work? Yeah, about this. I 
I think this was the uh, the other point that people were talking about that there might be a problem. And I can't actually do this with the emulator I'm using right now. I'm going to have to go and load up a different one. I back out of this at all? Oh no. It's just a curse to me. I may, may not be able to do a proper save file if I can't get out of this. Huh. And no, DS the, the, the DS emulator technology is not advanced enough for me to just go into my actual microphone and be like <laughs> blow it off. I apologize for headphone users. Well, I'm just going to have to hope that a save state is good enough. Otherwise, I'm going to have to play the rest of the... Uh... Otherwise, I'm going to have to play the game up to this point off stream again in a different emulator and then come back wouldn't be the worst thing but uh it would be kind of annoying but i mean i was planning on stopping after that anyway so uh questionable continue point aside like that's seems like a good spot to end so thank you all for coming out to watch thank you again big ham for the raid and thanks again to any of you who stayed from that. Um, my next stream is going to be Saturday at noon Pacific. Uh, going to be starting Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Uh, another game that I haven't played uh, that I've been kind of hold, not holding off on. But uh, I, don't, I said I would play it after I played the first game on stream. And that was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> So, finally getting around to that. Um, I'll do more Phantom Hourglass uh, next week, Thursday, at 7 p.m. Pacific. Anyway, thank you all again for coming out. I'm uh, going to send you to the, uh, the end screen while I see if there's someone to raid. So, take care now. Send you guys over to Eros. Say hi for me.